It's more signed CDs. Hi hi everybody and welcome to part 3 of my signed CD collection videos. Uh, we're on to shelf 3. I'm just going to carry straight on. If you missed parts 1 and 2 I'll provide links below. But yeah, here we go. So first up we have World's Strongest Man um, by Gaz Coombs from Supergrass. Um, I had a signed album which you would have seen if you watched my vinyl collection. And I did an unboxing of all this anyway. But it came with a signed booklet. Uh, I think quite a bit on this shelf I've shown in previous videos, either my Martin Muses on Music video or other unboxings and what have you. Um, so I will skim over some of it. This I've shown you, this is Kim Wilde's Here Comes the Aliens album from her website. Uh, Gaz Coombs is through his website. Thomas Truax is an American singer-songwriter who mainly works over here nowadays. Um, He's, oh, how to describe him? He's indescribable. Uh, I saw him supporting Duke Special in Southampton a couple of years ago. He's quirky, to say the least. He invents all his own instruments, apart from his guitar. But um, he has to be seen to be believed, but he is wonderful. And I've got nearly, well, I've got all his albums, all but one of them on CD. One of them is only available on download now. Um, this is his most recent album. Uh, All That Heaven Allows, which I bought directly from him through Bandcamp and he signed and dedicated it for me. This is Mark Morris's third album. Um, if you haven't watched part two, Mark Morris leading with Blue Tones. This was... I don't think he pledged... did he pledge this? I don't think he pledged this. I think this was through his website. Um, this is an album with cover versions, basically, but really good. This is Duran Duran's most recent CD at the time of recording, Paper Gods. Uh, this was an exclusive to Amazon in the US um, and they did a flash sale on it that I managed to get. So really pleased to have this because this forms part of my Bond collection as well. Uh, this is signed on the booklet by the band. Really happy to have that one. The album's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's got some good stuff on it. Uh, and we've got some more Thomas Truex after I'd seen him and I decided to get all his stuff. As I say, I ordered it all through Bandcamp. His most recent CD, obviously, I bought later. Um, but when I ordered it, I asked him if he could sign them all to me, which he did, and he enclosed badge and fridge magnet. And so it was around Christmas time. He was doing a, a, a sort of a sale on them. Um, and he enclosed a little Christmas card which you will see on a later video no doubt. Um, so this was his album Audio Addiction and it's signed and dedicated on the back from Thomas Truax and Butterfly. This is his monthly journal um, in 20... I don't know if it's 2011 he did it or 2012, the album was released in 2012. He wrote a song a month, um, more or less themed around the month. Um, so October's was a Halloween themed one, etc. Um, uh, but this is the album of those songs and I'm trying to remember where he signed this one. Oh, he signed it on the inside of a cover. Uh, it's in Byron, so it's not perfectly clear. Let's sign and dedicate it. So from this batch, they were, I think they were all done in Byron, so some of them he sort of picked the best, the clearest place for them. Uh, this is Sonic Dreamer, his album, that I've signed on the inside. <coughs> this is Trolls, Girls and Lullabies, which he signed on the front. Uh, there'll be more of Thomas to come, but this is Iconic by Sheila E. Uh, so worked a lot with Prince, was engaged to him briefly. This is our most recent album that she sold through Pledge. Um, the two drumsticks on the wall, they're both signed by her. Top one, Love Sheila E, and the other one, Two Martin, Love Sheila E. 
Um, that was from a campaign. She always writes and signs backwards. Uh, this she's actually signed on the disc itself. <clears throat> very good album, very funky. Uh, it's got some good guests on it as well. Um, Ringo Starr's on it, uh, George Clinton, Bootsy Collins, Freddie Stone, Candy Dolfer, really good. Uh, this is Jason Manford's A Different Stage album he released last year, uh, signed through Amazon I think. Um, mainly songs from musicals or sort of classic songs and there's a, uh, one Carrick Fergus an Irish traditional song. Uh, like Jason anyway and he's got a really good voice so I thought why not. This is Stereophonic's latest album Scream Above the Sounds. Uh, All in One Night probably the best known song from this one but that was through their website. This CD single of Room for Love by Melanie C from her last album um, through her website and she signed it in red on my back. Uh, part two I showed you under... oh god what's it called? Brain's Gone Dead. Uh, under the Radar Volume 1 by Robbie Williams. Um, last year he released Volume 2 which came nicely packaged in a nice little box and that's his bum on the cover um, and you could pay extra to get signed and dedicated copies. So unlike last time where they were all signed, um, this time he did limited signed ones and then also on top of that the dedicated ones. So yeah that's that. Uh, two tracks, in, uh, if you haven't watched part two these are tracks that didn't make the albums for various reasons, not that they're bad albums they just didn't there just wasn't room or maybe too similar to other songs but um, which way I think it's Speaking Tongues and Go Mental are two really funky tracks for a back to back and when I was listening to the album I actually listened to it while I was wrapping Christmas presents and oh I was dancing around the room so good but uh, yeah it's Under Radar Volume 2 by Robbie uh, back to Matt Berry uh, I think this was in this video wasn't it? was it in this video? Having a brain freeze. No, it was in part two. So Matt Berry, um, in case you haven't watched part two, comedy actor, also does music. This was um, Night Terrors, Nocturnal Excursions in Sound, in Music, um, which is Night Terrors. No, I'm having a brain freeze now. But basically, it's sort of a, a half album. Um, it's a follow-up to his last proper album um, and it's got remixes and other songs that didn't quite make the album and stuff like that on it. Um, that was through Acid Jazz, his record label. Uh, not technically signed but handwritten so it is autographed because that's what an autograph means. It's an example of somebody's handwriting. Uh, the Lost Boys, who are a local band who I saw supporting Blue Tones a few years ago and who I've supported ever since because they're really good. Uh, sort of Brit poppy type sound. Uh, they crowdfunded their album which I backed and is in here somewhere um, and also with that I got a CD of otherwise unreleased tracks and it's got a handwritten track list. This is very special. Um, Macy Gray did a pledge campaign and um, one of the perks that she added later on in the campaign was I think there was only a handful of these that she did. Um, this is a copy of the original demo CD that she sent round before she got signed. Um, so it, it hasn't got I Try on it but it's got other tracks from her debut album and a couple that ended up on her second album. Um, there's some interesting spelling on it. I'm shaking like mad here. Hold on. There's some interesting spelling on it. Um, it's a CDR, but it came in a handmade CD wallet. So she has drawn the cover and written on it. And then to Martin, may God bless you like crazy, Macy Gray. Yeah, that's special to me, that is. It's really good as well. 
Uh, this is Hank Marvin's most recent album, Without a Word. Hank Marvin, of course, from The Shadows. Uh, this came comes with a signed postcard. This is from Amazon. So that's a signed postcard, uh, which is the main reason I wanted it. But also, it's, it's an interesting album. I mean, he covers the Doctor Who theme on here, for example, which was interesting. This is the first proper, she'd done some EPs, but this was the first proper album by Emily Kinney. Emily's best known as an actress. She was Beth in The Walking Dead, and she's done other stuff as well. Um, this was through... I can't remember. I know it's limited signed copies, but I can't remember who it was from. It wasn't her website, I don't think. But I can't remember who it was from. But, um... This is a really good album. Um, it's sort of singer-songwritery, but she's got a really good voice and she's a really good songwriter as well. Really enjoyed that. Um, so much so I have in the post coming from America at the moment um, her new album, Oh Jonathan, which I pledged for. Um, subsequently met her and complimented her on this album, This Is War. I can't remember where I bought it from. It's annoying. Um, but yes, highly recommend her music as well as her acting. Uh, this is the Macy Gray album that she did the pledge campaign for. So this is The Way. Um, oh, it's long complicated anyway about the album. But no, as you can see, properly signed on the front. It says, For Martin, love, laughs, fun, sunshine, big hearts, and excellent food, Macy Gray. Also, as part of that campaign, I got a signed photo which you will see on a later video, um, but she's done it in different colours depending on whereabouts on the photos she was writing so that it all shows up. It's really good. This was, I think, the most recent album. I don't think they've done it one since. Um, by The Ordinary Boys. Um, they reformed. Uh, best known, A for Preston, who was in Celebrity Big Brother and famously stormed off of Nevermind the Buzzcocks. Um, but Boys Will Be Boys was sort of their big hit. Um, sort of punky, bit poppy, that sort of sound. Uh, album was good. In fact, I probably need to listen to it again because I remember enjoying it when I listened to it. But that's signed by the band. That was through their website. Uh, this is The Fizz, aka Bucks Fizz. Um, we're not allowed to use the name at the moment. Uh, this is an album they released last year. Uh, bought through Pledge, I think this was. Um, I've signed it on the actual CD. This is uh, The Darkness's last studio album, I think. Or was it the one before? I think it was the one before. Uh, last of Our Kind. This was Pledge Campaign. And it's signed booklet. Yeah, signed on the booklet. Love for Darkness got all their albums. This I've shown recently, this is the current release by All Saints, bought through their website. This is Nosebleeds, this is the Lost Boys album that I um, crowdfunded and got the handwritten uh, CD. It was on this one, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, this is the album. They had disasters recording this, they lost the tracks, literally, they couldn't, you know. Uh, twice, so they had to re-record it again, but eventually it came out. It's a very good album, and uh, it's signed by the band. This is Lisa Stansfield's most recent album. I've definitely shown this. Um, signed. This was uh, pure HMV purchase. Uh, very good. And I've definitely shown this as well. This is Lisa Adams' uh, release of Circle of One. Uh, this is a deluxe version through um, Super Deluxe Edition website. Again, I've shown this. This is from Pledge Campaign. This is Danny Goffey's uh, album signed. And I'm pretty certain I've shown this. Uh, as I say, we're getting to that sort of batch of stuff I've shown. This is um, Eric Leeds and Paul Peterson, who both work with, Pit with Prince. Um, this is No Words, also known as LP Music. Uh, again, this was a pledge campaign signed by them both on the back. And then 
uh, the you can just make out sorry about that that is a plectrum signed by Paul Peterson and that is a saxophone reed signed by Eric Leeds all from that campaign uh, I think I showed them in my music video so I didn't show the signed bits uh, probably at some point I'll do a proper showing of them on a different video uh, again something else I'll show you Ash's latest album Islands through their website and through their website Chaz and Dave's latest brilliant album A Little Bit of Us back to some Thomas Truax this was by Dogs Howl at the Moon signed it back to Martin Aru Thomas Truax this is Ugly Kid Joe's latest album um, I love their first album mini album and album uh, this is okay this is nowhere near as good as them but nice to have for the collection uh, this is Jetstream Sunset by Thomas Truax and where did he sign this one I've got a sign note on it I'm sure did he sign the booklet okay no, he doesn't have a book for that. I might have just put a sign note in with this one instead. Yeah, I think memory serves. This was released after I bought the batch. Anyway, um, he sent me a little note thanking me for the albums. Uh, hope you enjoy the album. I see it says album, so it must have been when I bought the others. Really appreciate your support. Best Thomas. I thought he'd signed this, but maybe he didn't. I thought he'd signed them all. No. Okay. Uh, back to Andy Allo. Uh, this is... Uh, have I shown her in this video? So she worked for Prince. This is her latest EP, One Step Closer. Uh, signed and dedicated through her website. This is box set of Sam Brown's two albums, or first two albums, which from when she was A&M. Um, Stop was obviously the big single on this. This was through um, Super Deluxe Edition. Um, he worked on the album, with Paul who runs the site, and sold a limited number of signed copies. This is Stereophonics, not the latest album, but the one before that, Keep the Village Alive, through their website. This was the um, was it anniversary, but the, I'm not sure if it was an anniversary release, but the re-release um, of Return to the Last Chance Saloon by the Blue Tones. That's their second album. Uh, so this one is the whole album plus the non-album track Marblehead Johnson, um, or the non-album single, should I say, plus um, each band member's favourite B-side from that era. Then this tube is two Radio 1 sessions and then a full concert that was recorded for, by the BBC. Uh, that's all signed on the front and that was through the record label. They were selling the signed copies of that. This I'm pretty certain I've shown. It's Kerry Hope Fletcher's to date only album, uh, musical theatre star and YouTube legend. Um, sister of Tom Fletcher from McFly, hugely talented, signed. This is the space album that I've shown you um, from previous videos I've mentioned this. Uh, this was through Pledge. This is their most recent album. I think I mentioned at the time. Their choice of pens and signing locations isn't great on this. Uh, I've shown this. This is the soundtrack to Crimes of Passion uh, by Rick Wakeman. Bought through Pledge Music, signed by Rick. This is Pime and Smile, which is the Darkness's most recent album, not including their live album. Uh, again, a pledge campaign. Nicely signed. Two more. Uh, this is Alicia Dixon's third album, Do It For Love, bought through her website. Uh, didn't love this album, because the Alicia show was magnificent. Um, but there's some good stuff on here. Uh, Tallest Girl was quite good. But see, no, this is her fourth album. This is her fourth album, not her third album, sorry. Uh, yeah, Tallest Girl was good, Do It For Love was good, a couple of others. 
but didn't wow me like definitely her second album and to a lesser extent her first and third. This is for Darkness's live CD when it came out recently um, that I have shown on this like an unboxing of this in the vinyl. Uh, that was through Pledge. And this is Sarah Harding's I think only single that she released in her own right. Sarah Harding from Girls Aloud. Uh, Fred's and this was through her website. That's it for part three. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. And if you're still interested, part four is to come. Thank you. Bye.